Come in. Hi, I'm Craig, and I'm going to be your nurse today. Hi. So, how are you today, Carrie? I'm good. I'm good. Okay, so it says here on your chart that you're here for a regular appointment. Is that correct? Yeah, that's right. Okay, I'm just going to start off asking you a couple questions about your alcohol and smoking use. Um, I do this with all these patient, with all my patients. It's a routine, um, like questionnaire. Is that okay with you? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, you can see the questions here as we go through them. Okay. In the past year, have you had four or more drinks in a day? Um, probably on occasion, um, but not like any like on the regular like. Okay. Um, in a typical week, do you have more than seven drinks? Um. Uh, maybe like every other weekend, but not like, not really. Not. So more just like social drinks? Just more social drinks, okay. yeah. Um, have you used pot, other street drugs, or other prescription drugs for non-medical reasons? No. Okay. Not that I can remember. Um, have you ever drank more than you meant to? Um, mm, not that I really remember, but maybe like one or a few times in my life. Okay. So not a problem. Yeah, that's no, not a problem. Have you ever been intoxicated on alcohol or drugs when you could hurt others? No. Mm -hmm. okay. Do you smoke? Yes, I do. Okay. How much do you smoke in one day, would you say? Um, probably around two packs a day. Two packs a day? Yes. Okay. So um, how about in a week? Is it normally two packs a day every yeah, day so of the week? Probably like... 14 or 15 in that range. Okay. And that's consistent throughout the month and like throughout the year? Yeah. I've been doing it for about 10 years. 10 years. Since, since I was like 14. Usually about that heavy? Yeah. Okay. Have you ever thought about cutting down on your drinking or smoking use? Um, not my drinking. I don't really see that as a problem. Um, but my smoking, I have been considering doing it. Okay. But I've been doing it for so long. It's been really, really uh, hard to quit. Okay, well, based on what you've just told me about your smoking use, it's kind of made me concerned um, of how it's like affecting your health. Yeah. Um, is it okay if we talk about that a little bit more? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Um, so tell me about your smoking habits. Um, I basically smoke, um, like I said, two packs a day. Um, I have a really stressful job. Um, and I just, it's just kind of a getaway, so. Okay, so you said you have a stressful job, so you, you smoke when you're stressed? Yeah. Like, with yeah. your job, does anything else stress you in your life? Um, you know, having, I have two kids, um, two young kids, and having work and dealing with them at home, it's very stressful. Yeah, I can imagine. Mm -hmm. Having two kids and a job full time, mm -hmm. that's a yeah. busy schedule. It is really busy. I can totally see there's a lot of stress there. Yeah. So would you say you smoke as a coping mechanism? Yeah, I would say, I, you know, that it's a coping mechanism. Kind of yeah. helps you relieve the stress yeah, from exactly. your kids and your job. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, how does smoking affect your health? Um, well, I was actually just recently diagnosed with COPD. Um, so that is probably the main you know, effect of my smoking habits. Um, okay. It's, yeah. So that's another reason why I've been thinking about I should probably cut back. Yeah, that could definitely, cutting back can definitely help with that. Yeah. Definitely. Um, does your smoking affect any of your relationships in your life? Um, yes, my family. Um, just I don't want my kids to have a role model that smokes or be you know, um, around secondhand smoking or get that, or I don't want them to eventually get COPD like I have right now. So I would say it affects my relationship with my kids and probably my husband too. Okay. So he you, doesn't smoke. You want to get better for yourself so you can be better with them mm -hmm. and then not expose them to any smoking or any of the harms that Yeah. Can come from smoking. Um, so, like you said, you want to cut back on smoking. So, I think that's a good idea that we should kind of talk a little bit more about cutting back on your smoking, especially with your recent diagnosis of COPD. Yeah. Is that okay if you yeah. talk about that? That's fine. Okay. Um, what would you say are some of the pros and cons of your smoking use? Um, the pros would be probably, um, you know, I'm not gaining weight 
and that would be a con with the gaining weight part. That's mm-hmm. what I'm kind of really yeah, worried that's about. Yeah, that is a factor yeah. for a lot of people. And um, also that a pro is, you know, it relieves my stress, and con is probably my health, you know, and mm-hmm. more, you know, COPD and all that, so that's probably... Okay, yeah, so yeah, gaining weight is definitely an issue a lot of people have concern with when they quit smoking because it does Mm -hmm. keep your metabolism up and keep a lot of people thinner, Mm -hmm. but maybe with the stress we could find a different way for you to kind of cope with the stress from um, your job and your kids. That might be a little bit better for your health. Mm -hmm. Um, On a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being not now and 10 being now, how ready are you to cut down? Probably around uh, five and six. That five range. and six, so yeah. you're kind of in the middle. You're yeah. Definitely thinking about it, but not really there, yeah. ready to start now. Yeah, I'm not there right now. Um, why would you say you're at that place, like right in between? Um, I would say because it's, you know, it's expensive. Um, my kids, my family, and it's really hard to smoke around places now with all these smoke-free zones and mm-hmm. you know they also just placed the tax on it and made it higher so it's getting a little expensive yes yeah, so you definitely have a lot of good strong reasons to stop smoking but maybe we could come up with some ways to help you implement those reasons so mm-hmm. actually help you take the action to stop smoking so um, let's think about what steps maybe you could use to cut down what do you think you could do to help you at least start smoking less um, probably replacing smoking with like maybe like gum like a, or a gum something. or a nicotine patch. Yeah, That's that, a great, yeah, yeah, I've heard about those. And mm-hmm. They seem to work on some people, so maybe I should try. Yeah, that, that can really help um, take the edge off with the nicotine, and then it also reduces the like secondhand smoke mm-hmm. like you are concerned about with your kids. That's really um, a really great alternative. I have um, some forms here, and I'll give you a copy. Okay. Um, it just kind of talks about the like, benefits of quitting smoking and some like tips to quitting smoking. So, um, quitting smoking has like age benefits, no matter how old you are. It just has benefits for your health overall. Mm-hmm. And like especially you said with your COPD, the sooner you quit smoking, the sooner your body can begin to heal and your Breathing will become better, um, and then you will, like we talked about your kids and the secondhand smoke, there will be less harm to them. Yeah. So those are some definitely, you have a lot of good reasons to quit smoking. It's just kind of coming up with some ways to implement to help you stop smoking. So like you said, the nicotine patches or the gum, and maybe thinking about working out or something like a walking to help kind of clear your head and ease the stress mm-hmm. instead of smoking. Yeah, it would probably be better for my lungs too to do. Yeah, to exercise just be better for your overall health to yeah. walk and any form of exercise. I totally agree. Well, it sounds like you are at a good part or a good stage to kind of transition towards actually starting to quit or at least cutting back. Mm-hmm. Um, so can we schedule a follow-up to talk about this and your progression? Yeah, that sounds like a good plan. Okay. Well, then maybe during that appointment we could kind of talk more about what you've done that has helped, what hasn't helped, and see what's been working for you. Does that sound okay? That sounds great. Okay, well, Terry, it was nice talking to you, and I'll go get to the doctor. Okay, thank you.